my name is uh, Amadou Njoya and uh, I come from a uh, very long time uh, blacksmith family in uh, West Central Africa. I am very proud to show this collection here at the QCC Art Gallery. This mask has two faces. Those are Janus face, Bangwa, Nar Society mask. This was used also during funerals of the kings and enthronement of the new ones. It's a shoulder mask. They always worn it on shoulder. And also during important ceremony in the kingdoms, the mask would come out and they would display it right near the king. This statue here represents a title holder, a woman in the kingdom and she's wearing royal beads. This woman was pregnant with the firstborn in this kingdom. This is what we call in the Bamleke kingdoms the Nile Society mask. Each mask here was used only by the owner. Those people always come from the royal family or important people in the tribe. And many of these masks was used by people who have visions. This one here has uh, owl feathers. Owls had visions and power. That's why they added into this mask. They call this leader mask. This represent a face of an ancestor, the people who found the kingdom of Kom. This mask was made at the beginning of the uh, you know, 1800s. It's full of spirits and beauty.
this uh, snake, which is one of the important piece of the collection. Uh, they call it a guardian post. This kind of post was placed into a ritual house where they are storing ritual masks. The snake is like the warden of all the spirits that are contained into mask. The Bangwa believe that the snake is the reptile that will transmit the soul to the afterlife. This headpiece was made with brass and copper. It represents the face of founder ancestors in its aggressive look. Those big bulging eyes means power. You know, those are eyes of, uh, of uh, rulers. The nose are, is a very aggressive. The face has a very huge beard who look like they are moving. The mask is wearing a crown which is in the form of a ceramic pot. Because in the grass field, each country have a pot that contain all sacrificial material who protect their people, or who have, and that have connection with the living people and the spirit. I, I can see here five chameleons, which is a symbol of knowledge, wisdom, and power. This is the most powerful object of the collection. It's a leader mask. The eyes of the mask are looking straight up, which means uh, the dancer is, will be getting communication with the ancestor who passed. 